Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adam. You're playing Genshin Impact. And that let's sound very good. Let's continue the journey. We're still playing the Song of the Dragon and the Freedom and Freedom. So this hasn't. We have to teleport. We have to talk to the Ember. No, to Venti. We need to talk to Venti. We need to talk to Venti. wind amongst the branches is good. I love the way it smells. <laughs> I said the exact same thing last time. Uh, why do I own- uh, So you noticed. Uh, this isn't something I'm meant to discuss with ordinary people. But I suppose I can let you in on the secret. As you know, Visions are external magical foci that only a small minority of people possess. They use these visions to channel elemental power. In truth, every wielder of a vision is one who can attain godhood and ascend to Celestia. We call such people Allogenes. Allogenes? Paimon's never heard of them before. <laughs> That's because this is a secret that only Archons are privy to. We don't need primitive tools like visions. Instead, each Archon has an internal magical focus that resonates directly with Celestia itself, known as a Gnosis. <laughs> it's just a glowing glass ball I carry around to avoid suspicion. I feel I cheat it, but I guess I'm used to that by, by now. So who was that nasty woman who sent Paimon flying and stole your Gnosis? Her name is Signora, number eight of the Harbingers. She and the rest of the Harbingers have been given godlike executive authority by the Tsaritsa of Snejnaya, and with it, strength surpassing that of other mortals. The Tsaritsa of Snejnaya? Isn't that... Indeed. She is one of the seven. The Tsaritsa who reigns from her winter palace, and the one person that the Fatui Harbingers all answer to. The Seven don't always get along well, but still. I never thought that she would plot to steal another Archon's Gnosis. Uh, how should I put this? Five hundred years ago, I knew her well. But I can't say the same is true now. You see, a certain catastrophe happened five hundred years ago. And after that, she cut off all ties with me. But we can save discussion of the Cryo Archon and the Fatui for another day. If you seek the rest of the Seven, many difficulties lie ahead of you still. You should head for Mondstadt's neighboring nation of Liyue. The Geo Archon who reigns there, unlike me, administrates his entire region personally. He only descends once every year to give his divine predictions, which set the direction for Liyue for the rest of that year. Even so, it sounds like he works much harder than a certain someone. <laughs> <laughs> In any case, this year's rite of dissension is soon to begin. If you miss it, you'll just have to wait another year. What? Why didn't you tell us before? Well, then bye! We're going! One moment, Windborn Outlander. Yep. Traveler, as you set off on your journey once again, you must remember that the journey itself has meaning. The birds of Tevat, the songs in the cities, the Tsaritsa, her Fatui and the monsters, they are all part of your journey. The destination is not everything. So before you reach the end, keep your eyes open. Use the chance to take in the world around you. Great. So, that's that for the Animo Archon's admonishments. Back to Venti time. 
If you want to chat, now's the time. A bard stays not always in a single climb. Uh... Up till the end, Devalin remembered his duty as one of the four winds. As such, I just hope that Devalin will be able to choose for himself and understand what freedom is. Before I became an Archon, I too was taught the meaning of freedom in this way by a friend. If you want to chat, now's the time. A Kaya shared some new intelligence, you say? Oh, I see. So, the Abyss Order has a princess who orchestrated the plan to corrupt Devalin? They were probably trying to turn Devalin into a weapon of war for the Abyss. But that said, I have never heard of any such prince of the Abyss Order. I think so too. Apparently. But how does a princess come out of nowhere and take command over the entire? If you want to chat, now's the time. Kaya should. Oh, I see. They were probably trying to turn Devalin into a weapon of war. I think so too. Apparently. If you want to chat, now's the time. A bard. That Fatui lady didn't hang around, did she? She just grabbed your gnosis and left? She wanted to avoid any eyewitnesses from the Knights of Favoni. The slightest slip up here would have destroyed the Fatui's diplomatic relations with the... So they're just gonna keep acting like Mondstadt's allies as if nothing happened? <sighs> if only the Seven Nations had banded together against the Abyss Order in the first... The Fatui possess the strongest military among the Seven Nations. Yet they've used it to steal the Holy Liar, covet the power of gods, and use Devalin as a bargaining chip against the Knights. Speaking of the liar, didn't Diluc say something like this before? He said that the Fatui could only run amok across the Seven Nations and threaten the Knights because of the Harbinger. Yes. As I said earlier, the Cryo Archon has given them authority and strength beyond that of other mortals. The Tsaritsa. <sighs> I haven't seen her in 500 years. <sighs> Whatever the answer is, I have a feeling it's only going to make your search for the Seven all the more difficult. If you want to chat, now's the time. Apart, as I said before, vision wielders are known as allogenes and may ascend to Celestia. A gnosis is a higher order nexus of elemental manipulation and is emblematic of an Archon's status as one of the Seven. But as for which of the Seven took your sister, I'm sorry. Wait. As one of the seven, I'm not clear of suspicion yet either, am I? <laughs> We're a great team indeed. Say, once you find your sister, how would you like to become one of the new Four Winds? Hmm, you don't seem too into it. Hey, Tone Dev Bard! If being one of the Four Winds means free food, you can consider Paimon! <laughs> If you want to chat, now's the time. A bard stays not always in a single climb. Well then, let's be off to Lele. Yeah. What have a domain of blessing? to go there back there's much we need to discover in this area these places are not you're not allowed to go there right lure this part is lure yeah the knights of the village Let's 
let's head back to mom's stuff. Let's head back to mom's stuff. Let's head back to mom's stuff. So finally we completed that mission which is nice important message what unlock domains important message a new domain has been unlocked domain hide precious treasure be sure to explore the domains scattered all over the world to find treasure hidden within okay that's nice. Now we know death. Add Astra. Add Astra. This must be, yeah, this is um, use total of original design. Chef from Liyue. My favorite place is the chicken. I mean, the kitchen. Oh. Hello, nice. No, 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 no. Don't want to do this. I've already done it. I've already done this mission. I don't know what. Zhonglin. Uh, how do I leave it? Load faster. Yeah. Back into this. Nice to meet 
you. My name is Xiangling. I'm a chef from Liyue. My favorite place is the chicken. I mean, the kitchen. Okay, that is known to... Okay, now I know. Uh, this is the bus. Have you heard of some of uh, these things? Someone's there. Only if there was a quest uh uh a notice board with all the quests you could take it. There is not. You have to go around 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 and perhaps find a quest or not. You live in the same city, give me a notice for then I know where which which crosses are available or not. Found a few more quests. This one, this. Nice.
Yeah. That's it, everyone. Hold on. Swing blade. Uh, no. No. Wind blade. She shushed me. Oh, chest. Yes. What is going on, game? Yeah, everyone. Hope you're enjoying the gameplay. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.